Hello, today we're going to assemble the machine from straight out of the box and go through the running procedure. Okay, so to begin with, once you've um, taken all the parts out of the box, you will have a toolkit, some seals and a few parts. So if you begin with um, having your machine here, uh, you get this uh, medium sized seal here, put it here up on top of the actuator and then place your hopper on top of that. Ensure that the seal isn't sticking out any of the sides and that the locating pin is at the side here. And then if you get a medium sized clamp, put it down. tight in it. There's no need to use any tools or anything to try and tighten these uh, triclover clamps because they will be over tightened and uh, will actually leak then. If you just nip it up finger tight, anyone can uh, tighten that. And then get one of the smaller seals here and this tube and stand for the bottles. Place the seal here and put it onto the end of the actuator there and then get a smaller clamp and place it there. Yet again making sure no seal is sticking out or edges are even, it fits nicely in between the two parts. sure that this clamp is done up tight. Yet again place another seal up on top, the fiddling head and corner piece. Put another clamp there. And get that one up too. Then this clamp here is already fixed to the corner pit part. That's where the locating dowel goes in. You may have to loosen it first, but if you get the size 4 uh, Allen key, loosen it off a little bit, and then you get the locator just sits just nicely inside that clamp, and then nip, nip it up yet again. There's no need to use any uh, pliers or any other tool to to try and tighten it over tighten it or anything it's just basically to keep the filling head stable and just double check that all your clamps are nipped up not too tight yet again just just enough that uh, it feels firm and then the two air hoses medium sized air hoses come out of the actuator here. The orange one, if you push it firmly into the top fitting of the fillet head, and it makes a bit of a click. And then the bottom one is the blue one, push that in firmly until it clicks. To release those, if you actually hold back the blue ring, then you should be able to pull them out if you have to remove them. If, if it seems to be stuck, push the hose in a little bit before you push down the ring, and then you should be able to pull it out just like that. Okay, once it all that's assembled like this, and you've previously greased the inside of the cylinder here and the piston, then the pedal is attached. Then get a main air line from your compressor, plug it into the regulator. be ready to go. So to begin with, the slide switch is here, the one facing the back of the machine which is the opposite side to where the buttons are at the front here, that never has to move. So this front one here, if you get the uh, small Allen key out of your kit, loosen off the little grub screw that's on top of this little switch here, 
then it, just, it makes it free to slide backwards and forwards. This is another thing that is um, important not to be over tightened. It's a, a common problem that people do and they have to get replaced because the grub screw gets over tightened and it just doesn't grip anymore and the filling machine may not work but if you just nip it up finger tight always keep it firm in there. If it is loose and it doesn't get nipped up the size might not be accurate but to begin with we want to put it all the way here to the left hand side to a full stroke not quite the end just in a little bit nip it up then you get your product today we're just using water for the demonstration okay what we what we do is we have this on full on the full stroke there so that we can purge the system before doing any filling of any of the product into containers this is to get any air out of the system and to make an actual uh, accurate measurement and so once that's all set up like that place a bucket underneath the nozzle and we are from a little bit too far if you move it back a little bit it will go back to the right stroke there okay doesn't go through a stroke and uh, another troubleshooting item is get the slide switch and slide it all the way to minimum and then back to, and in, in wait till the machine registers it and then snip it back up again there and do that again. Make sure that your air compressor has got enough air unlike I have myself. Won't be a moment. switch here is an on and off switch. Okay. And set that. That's here. Emergency stop that's set in. I'll try this again. keep the bowl under the end. You do this for about three or four full strokes. That way it ensures that there's no air in the line in the cylinder at all and you'll get an accurate measurement. And so this isn't wasted product though. The machine's been cleaned prior. Then you can place the product directly back in the top of the hopper there. Once that's done like that it's all purged and ready to go. And well with today's uh, demonstration uh, we had gone through a, a few of the um, things that can go wrong. Um, basically, over tightening of screws, slide switches being slightly too far. So, but uh, this uh, measuring uh, tape at the top here, that's um, just a guide. So basically, once you find, if you have to measure, say in this wheel, one cylinder machine, about halfway, you're going to say that's about 500 mils or 500 grams. Uh, so then you can nip that off there if that was the size that you were going to fill today and then you measure it, weigh it or use a or measure device. Once you're happy with what it's outputting then um, you can leave it there and you can use that as a guide to say that's where it sits for that and then every time you would double check it with a measuring device but um, it should now with the purge system not have any problems with having the same measurement every time that you do a fill. So. Um, you've done your fill for the day and you remove the air line and then you can take it back apart by taking the clamps like we put it together 
But then um, in our further videos it will show how to take down the actuator so you can grease that and the cylinder. And uh, that, that's um, basically it. It's, um, it's very simple, very simple troubleshooting. The um, screws on top of the ram here, these uh, are, are speed adjustments. So the more that it's screwed in, the slower it's going to be. So one is the back stroke of the sucking of the cylinder filling up and one is the pushing. So if it's coming out too fast and foaming or, or you know splattering everywhere, you want to slow that down a bit, adjust that as you go, and then there's a little lock-off screw halfway so they don't accidentally slide or adjust. That's another common thing. It's how if a user is um, adjusting that when they shouldn't be or something like that, it can uh, slow your process down. But for a liquid like water or milk and other products like that are very liquid, you don't want it full speed, so you want to wind that into roughly about halfway, and then you get a nice slow, not slow, but a nice firm, constant speed, and without all the splashing everywhere. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to uh, email us or call us, and we'll get on top of the issues with you and work together. Thank you.